Running for office costs a lot of money, with national candidates spending hundreds of millions of pesos to fund their campaigns. While some candidates can afford funding a campaign on their own, some get by with a little help from businessmen. Pia Bonalos takes a closer look on campaign funding in this Inform in 100 report. Elections are a time of pump priming the economy. Demand usually spikes in the fast food, media, and retail sectors. That's because the market is flooded with campaign spending. According to the Statement of Election Contribution and Expenditure submitted in 2010, the top four presidential candidates alone spent over 1 billion pesos in a span of 90 days. While some candidates can fund their campaign with their own money, some heavily rely on contributions from donors. Senator Manny Villar spent the most in the 2010 elections with a total of 431,557,816 pesos. In his SECE, he stated that all this money came from his own personal funds. President Aquino, who had the second highest campaign expenditures in 2010, did not spend a single centavo for the 403,119,981 pesos and 81 centavos spent for his campaign. The reluctant candidate received the entire amount from various donors and contributors. He actually received a total of 440,050,000 pesos in campaign funds, leaving a balance of 36,930,018 pesos and 19 centavos. His biggest contributor is business tycoon and his second cousin, Antonio Cuanco, who gave 100 million pesos for his campaign. From former President Joseph Estrada's 235,500,000 peso campaign expenditures, 227,500,000 pesos came from contributors, while 8 million pesos came from his personal fund. Aside from the 20 million pesos that came from the Ejercito family, other generous contributors include PLDT Chairman Manny Pangilinan, port handling giant Ricky Razon, Plastics King William Gachalian and real estate, liquor and fast food businessman Andrew Tan. He also received contributions from companies such as Ortigas and Company, SM Schumart and Unilab. Gilbert Teodoro spent the least with only 3,463,307 pesos and 21 centavos. While he enumerated the 64,688 pesos and 88 centavos he received in contributions, even including the 200 peso contribution from a certain Alexei and Casey, he says the rest of his funds came from his political party, Lakas Campi, CMD. Comelec spokesperson James Jimenez stresses the importance of submitting the SECE. This is an important step that, that, uh, that we're requiring because it will help us make sure that all of the candidates stayed within the campaign limits for spending and to make sure that eventually we're able to decouple money from politics. Businessmen, however, say it is important to be allied with the government. Politics and business are natural allies mm -hmm. because uh, business needs uh, an environment that is conducive to business. And politicians and leaders are the policy makers. Mm -hmm. So we need to work together for the sake of our country. Setting a good business environment is a big factor in choosing the candidate to fund. When we put them in the list of people that we will help, of course. Mm -hmm. They must have, that's why we said we have, we have to have the new solutions to problems. We don't want uh, those, those vague uh, promises and so on. No? Or the fact that you're a politician or a, you are coming from a clan or what. No? Laxon did say that some businessmen are hesitant about having their names included in the SECE of candidates. Some, some, some funders, because some funders are funding several candidates mm -hmm. and probably they might be belonging to different parties. Okay. So to protect those uh, funders, they would rather uh, be kept confidential. If a big funder will be exposed in the open, that will also endanger his security. Mm -hmm. He can become a kidnapped 
potential kidnap victim. But what happens when the candidate they spent so much money on loses? If they lose, yeah. well, uh, we invite them in the private sector if they want to. <laughs> Many that I know in the chamber in particular, if they help a candidate, it is not in exchange for anything else. If they lose, then um, uh, we, of course, sympathize uh, <laughs> with them, but uh, we can harness the talents. No? Uh, if they win, then good, because then uh, we, we, will, uh, we depend on what they have uh, uh, promised. To do. The Fair Elections Act for this year's election states candidates will be allowed 3 pesos for every voter in their campaign expenditures. An additional 5 pesos for candidates with political parties can be added to this amount. For candidates without any political party, 5 pesos for every voter is allowed. Party list groups are also allowed 5 pesos for every voter. With over 52 million voters registered for this year's elections, it will be interesting to see how campaign funds will be spent. Pia Bonalos, Solar News.